And welcome back. We've made it to Thursday morning and what a busy day yesterday. Some storm reports that came in here showing some flooding reports taking place, especially across parts of Lincoln and Marathon County and storm damage across the southern parts of the viewing area as well. And even a few tornado reports west of Adams County. This one had had a debris signature on radar for a while. Another one well down toward the south as well. Even, even a confirmed report of a tornado southwestern Marathon County reported by law enforcement. But none of that this morning, though. A lot better. We are watching clouds moving through though as we have another secondary front that's moving through and here's that front right here causing a few rain showers to develop and this is all that we're really going to see from this maybe just enough to get the ground wet briefly then that'll be about it once we get this last little bit through we're going to be dry for the next several days there's not a whole lot going for this right now but again as we look at things right here right now things are going to be tracking to the southeast and this is that little skinny rain band along that secondary cold front and the next several days once we get it through will be a lot drier and it's already comfortable out there this morning. We do have temperatures in the upper 50s, even a few lower 60s outside across a good part of the viewing area. And we're going to start seeing temperatures staying warming up into the middle 70s, even lower 70s by Friday. So we're really feeling cool out there with middle 70s by Saturday. And then again, lower 80s starting Sunday, lasting all the way through parts of next week. Our average high ticking down now at 78 degrees. The wind, we're starting to get a breeze out there this morning out of the southwest at around 5 miles per hour. They'll start shifting more out of the west as that secondary cold front passes through. And the dew points as well. A lot more comfortable out there, so you go outside, it doesn't feel as humid, and this is why. And the muggy meter will remain low for a few days as we move through until about the weekend. We'll start seeing things ticking back up into the lower 60s, then maybe by Tuesday back near the middle 60s. So I'll have to watch how up a few days to keep an eye on that. Now, our future cast for today, we have those rain showers passing through, but once we get that through, lots of sunshine and clear skies on the way for tonight. The next several days going to be very nice, but maybe just a few passing clouds and temperatures to slightly below average. At least until the weekend, so get outside and enjoy it. Things will be looking pretty nice for us. All righty, part of the cloudy skies, a few rain showers possible today. Temperatures not too far away from average. Our average high is 78 degrees. We'll do the middle 70s today. Also windy at times. Saw that west wind at around 10 up to 25 miles per hour. And for tonight, everything goes still. Go outside and have a campfire tonight. We'll have mostly clear skies. Lows in the upper 40s. The winds will be backing off. They will be nice and calm. Now for tomorrow, part of the cloudy skies, not too bad. We'll have temperatures in the lower 70s. Winds picking up yet again while well, the northwest wind at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Already right, Northwoods Furniture and Mattress 7 day forecast. I think you're going to like it after today, though. Again, the rain chances for today, not a huge chance. But then Friday, all the way through the weekend, look at this. And even in the next week, a mixture of clouds and sun. Temperatures cooling off a little bit, but then gradually warming back up into the lower 80s. Get outside and enjoy it.